hello and welcome back let's continue our previous video in which we cover that how we can add extra options to our woocommerce products with image switches color switches and multiple steps in our previous video we added these extra options to our product now i have modified these a little bit based on the client's requirement but uh, the method is the same you can have image switches text switches and so on now you can see this is a simple layout and we don't have multiple steps so let's see how we can achieve that multi-step layout and for that, as mentioned in the previous video, we will be doing some custom CSS and PHP code. But don't worry, we can just copy them and we can just face them, okay? I'll just show you the method. Now they have an article about how to create a multi-step product option. I'll provide a link to it in the description of this video, okay? And from here, we can copy those codes and we can use them on our website. Before that, as you know, under WooCommerce, if you go to product fields, we have added this group 1 where we have added our extra options but if you want to do it separately for a single product you can go to products and then edit any product then scroll down and here you will find custom fields and here you can add those same fields if i click on add field i can select from these options and i can change the label and this is the same method that i have showed you in the previous video okay you can even export your custom fields from that group let me show you if i edit this then under tools you will find this export option just click on it and you will get this code so just select all and then copy it and now we can import it to any product and we will get these same fields let's see quickly i'll close it products we'll edit that same product and then under custom fields we will click on import we'll paste that code and click on import that's it we got those same fields over here okay so this is a trick that you can use if you want to copy any fields to a review or you can even copy this to another website for now let's delete them and we will update this product and now let's see how we can achieve that multi-step layout so following this article if you scroll down you can see we are building this multi-step layout and what we need is WooCommerce obviously we have that and also this plugin then configuration so this is adding the fields that I have showed you already and then we will uh, create some sections we will give it a CSS class and then we will add some product tags okay so let's go step by step the first thing is we will need to have multiple sections and for that let's edit our extractions and now let's create some sections here okay so I'll click on add field and here in the type I'll scroll down and we'll choose section which will be a start of a section okay so I can bring the top close it and we will also need to in this section okay so for that we'll add a new field and under type we will choose section in that's it so this is how you can create multiple sections so let's bring that over here now we have one field in this section okay and we will create the same sections for these you can either duplicate it or you can have another one and then I'll add section int now you can keep multiple options in a single section but just to show you quickly I'll use only one here okay so I hope you understand it just a section and then section int now the next step is to give it a custom CSS class to each section so for that you can open up any section then under class just write step you can see over here okay same goes for this section you will write step here and also here now let's save this field and after updating these fields we will need to add a custom tag to our products okay so for that you can go to products and then tags and here we will create a new tag which will be steps make sure to add s ok we'll also use steps as a slug and then we'll add it and now we'll have to assign this tag to that product for that we can go to products and we'll edit this product here you can scroll down you will find the tag option ok so you can write steps and edit that's it and then update it and lastly we will have to add some custom php and css code so that we get those steps ok because if i visit this product we still don't have that multi-step layout so let's fix this by adding that custom code 
So if you scroll down here on that same page, we have done the sections, we have added the tag and also added to the product and now we need this code. So just copy this code and now there are two methods to add this in your WordPress website. The first method is to add this code in your theme functions.php file ok. For that you need to have install child theme ok if I go to themes. You can see I'm using block C child theme here. And the benefit of using a child theme is if you update the parent theme, your code will still be remaining in this child theme and it won't last while the theme update. And in case you are not using the child theme, then I would suggest you to use a third party plugin which is WP code. For that you can go to plugins, hit new, and then search for WP code and install and activate this plugin. This will let you add some custom codes that can either be a PHP code, JavaScript or even CSS code. If you are using the child theme, well and good, if not, you can go with this plugin. As I am using the child theme, so I will just modify the theme file, ok, for that, I will go to appearance, then theme file editor, and here make sure the child theme is selected, you can go to theme functions, and here we can paste that code, so I already have copied that, before that let me write some comments, so that I remember it in future, ok, and then we will paste that code. And that's it, this is how you can add a code to your WordPress website. Now we also have some other codes, let's scroll down. And this is the CSS style that we will add in appearance later on, ok. But before that, we have some JavaScript code as well, that will make things dynamic. So let's copy it. And we'll go to that same file, we'll paste it here. And then just click on update file to save your changes here. And file updated. If I go to that product again and refresh it, that layout is still missing because we haven't added that custom CSS code. For that we can go to customize, under customize you can scroll down, go to additional CSS, close it and paste the CSS code here, which is this code ok, so we will copy it and we will paste it here and instantly you will get the multi step layout. Now let's publish it and refresh the product page and there we go now this option is in one step i can go to next step but this is required so i must have to select an option here then i'll go to next step we have this thing next step and this and then add to cart okay so in this way you can achieve this multi-step layout if you need it let's go to freeway step and as long as I am in these two steps, I can't see the add to cart and the quantity selector. And if I move to the last step, I can now add it to cart, which is a very reliable way to hide add to cart. And this is how you can achieve a multi step layout here on your product page. Again, and this was advanced product fields for WooCommerce. I have showed you in my previous video how you can get this plugin and how you can install and activate it, then how you can use it. And you will find link to this plugin and also to the code in the description of this video ok. To learn more about Wallface Elementor and WooCommerce just follow my channel and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.